Well, welcome back to the channel, and today we're out on the new Honda XADV. So uh, here she is, we're all camered up. We're going to jump on and take her for a ride, and I'll give you my first ride review on this machine. Okay, so push the button, springs into life. Lovely, lovely dash there. Already noticing that. Um, start button. We're in standard mode here at the moment, so we'll leave it on that for the moment, just to see how uh, how it goes. We're in automatic. This is a DCT model, so just here we'll stick it in a drive. Easy as that, and away we go. Ever so smooth. Close this visor down. It's one thing you notice straight away with these bikes. This, uh, you know, this DCT steaming up a bit. The Honda DCT is how smooth, you know, it transitions through the gears. Uh, you can. You got the option also on the left-hand button cluster there uh, to paddle shift up and down. You can also override the, you know, the automatic if you wanted to knock down the gear. We'll go through that in a bit, but. Um, what else can I tell you on here while we're stationary? No, sir. Yeah, uh, this reminds me actually of the, the CB1000 and the Africa Twin, you know, the dash, obviously not the bike. Um, yeah, I mean, that, uh, you know, it's the same dash by the look of it. You've got all your rider modes here, adjustable through this button here, rain, gravel. Oh, okay, that's a new one. Uh, user, which is the customizable one here where you can change all, all your settings tailored to, to what you want we're still in gear here at the moment you can actually you know while you're sitting here stationary hit it in a neutral there should you want to we'll do that now so she sounds nice doesn't she all right we'll put it in the drive because we're now on the move ever so smooth there pulling away lovely lovely riding position comfortable i've got my feet forward here actually I'm going to adjust these mirrors a little bit so I can see what's going on behind. Yeah, I'm actually quite a lover of these DCT models, <laughs> which is the dual clutch transmission. You know, I just find them so, uh, well, it's just effortless, you know. I mean, this is a 750cc motorcycle or scooter, whatever you want to call it, you know, fully automatic. Uh, just sitting here at 40 mile an hour we're in fifth gear already so i could override that by you know knocking down there like i'm doing with this little little uh, paddle shift there on the left hand side yeah stay tuned i'll give you i'll pull over in a little while up here and i'll give you a thorough walk around of the bike and i'll run for all of the specs there's a lot to talk about with this bike so don't go anywhere actually we're in rain mode there we'll put it in a uh, gravel we'll put it in there uh, you can do this all on the fly sport mode slow down a bit <laughs> she can soon get a lick on not too warm today it's saying 13 degrees on there You've got all the information you need on that display there and more you know and that is so crisp we've not got no direct sunlight on there at the minute i don't think anyway there's not a lot of sun out today but that is very crisp that screen very crisp all the information you, you can uh, you know you need there uh, yeah, like I said, it does remind me a bit, little bit of the, the CB1000. Could be the same TFT display there. And I think this bike, you know, talking about the bike, uh, sorry if I'm shouting when it's a bit breezy, but hopefully okay. Yeah, this bike, I think it's like Marmite, you know. You either look, you know, love it or you hate it, really. And, uh, you know, like I said, there is a lot to talk about about this bike. It's been uh, it's had, a, had a lot of changes, I think, for 2021. Additional storage space. I think the storage space under the seat is 21 litres. You know, it's a fair bit. I've got my, my backpack in there at the moment. So we've just laid off the throttle there. It's not the down third. It's, uh, still in third, actually. Uh, I thought I would have dropped down into second there, but... Ever so... Oh, that's just effortless to ride. Silky smooth. Uh, fourth gear. A lot of traffic lights and roadworks. I should have probably gone the wrong way here actually, but never mind. It's knocking down there. Oh, when I brake then it just actually knocked down. It, it, it understood that I wanted to. Um, 
and uh, yeah. Well, okay. So anyway, stick it in a neutral, and it's actually the one thing I, I I do notice with this is you know I'm five foot seven, and uh, I've got an inside leg of about, around about thirty two inches, and my feet are sort of you know I'm on the balls of my feet, you know on the on the road there. So that's one thing I noticed. <laughs> I think there's been been an improvement since the last model, but it's still for me uh, very, you know, very tall. I think it's because of the width of the seat here. You know, my legs are quite well spread. Oh, spread legs, eh? <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, th I think that's uh, one of the issues I would find with this. That's my sort of in instant, you know, immediate thoughts on it. Really, nice screen there as well. That's adjustable. It's a little lever there on the front. You pull that out and we'll have a little play with that in a bit. But button cluster does look like there's a lot going on there. Uh, horn mode button, we just used that uh, function. I think you can change the... Yeah, we're off now, so put in a drive. Yeah, you can change the display there. Different types of uh, display, should you want to. Really smooth to ride. Really smooth. Brakes are very sharp as well. It's got the dual discs on the front, 298 millimeter dual discs with uh, they're Nissan, Nissan calipers, I think, on here. That's a hell of a bump in the road there. No problems with the a, with the XADV. <laughs> uh, we'll get rolling eventually. Six-speed gearbox, the DCT, fully automatic. Or like I say, you can have it in the in the uh, you know, manual mode where you want to shift up and down with your your little paddle paddle shift if you like. So keyless, it's got the the Honda Smart key as well. So you just simply put the put the key in your pocket and it operates the adjust that mirror a bit more. Adjust the uh, sorry, unlocks the you know the bike, the steering lock, and also optional extra. You know, like a top box as well, luggage box. So it's holding onto that gear for a little bit longer, I think, in uh, sport mode. I'm going to go over a bumpy rail crossing here, see what she's like. So I'm just warming the bike up at the moment, so I don't, I don't ever go too crazy when, uh, not what I do anyway, really, generally, but. A nice raw tour as well. Picks up speed, no problems. Just knocked down the gear then. I had the throttle pinned wide open, better slow down a bit. Uh, and that just knew that I wanted to, uh, you know, that additional extra power and it just knocked down the gear then. So, very good that, very good. Just what you want. Not quite sure on the weight. I'll go through the specs in a bit, but you don't notice any weight for the bike, so it's all low down weight, I should think. Be interesting to know. I mean, this is like I say, it's a kind of class of its own. This one, X X, you know, XADV. I've seen that class. You know, stands for uh, Adventure, maybe the ADV. But yeah, that gravel mode there. I think it disables. You know, like your ABS and that, which you, you could potentially do if you uh, use a customizable setting anyway on here if you wanted to. You can set that one up to, to your, you know, your, your own preferences really. We'll get, we'll get on the Nationals and I'll wind her open a little bit more. See how she performs. Take a left here actually for a change. I'll test the brakes out as well in a minute. It's got self-cancelling indicators as well on here. See when they switch off. I made the turn. Yeah, they're off. So no worries there, leaving them on. You should never rely on that though. You should always turn them off when you're not, you know, needed, when they're not needed, but... Very flickable. No issues. Ever so, you know, so, it's silky smooth. Silky smooth. We'll ring her on a bit get past here and uh, there you go, hold on. Wow, 
Wow, bro. Jeez, yeah, she's got some performance there. Very windy. I'm not getting any wind, by the way. Uh, I'm getting a tiny bit of wind. It's got a lovely screen now. I'm not quite sure on what setting that's on. It's actually quite low, you know, fairly low at the moment. And I'm looking over the top of it. Uh, no vibes at all through the mirrors. Nothing. They're, they're, abs they're absolutely, you know, perfect, really, in my opinion. Can see a little bit of my, uh, my elbows there. But not a problem there whatsoever. No vibes through the through the footboards there. Safety car. All right. Yeah. So you know, first uh, overall, my only gripe is, I think it's to do, like I said earlier, to do with the width of the bike on. Uh, uh, you know, obviously touching the the deck with your feet. You know. <laughs> But there you go. I'm not that. I'm not the tallest. So <laughs> there you go. We'll try and knock her down the gear there. Yeah, no problems. Lovely little roads out this way. Don't often come out this way. Comes in several different colours. So you've got, you know, you're, you're, you're fairly spoiled for choice there. We'll pull over in a minute anyway. I want to get the specs right. I think we're coming into the village of Roxham actually. Oh yeah, Roxham. So it'll be somewhere nice to pull over out the way. And I'll give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine. Yeah, but like I say, I do think it's a desired taste this. And it is in a class of its own, I think, personally. But my you know, my first opinion is, I mean, I like, I like to test, if you're new to the channel, you know, feel free, hit that subscribe button, that'd be much appreciated. If you like the video, hit the like. But as you'll know, if you're an existing subscriber, I do like to test ride as many different types of bikes, you know, as possible, whenever possible. You know, hopefully they'll keep coming, as long as this weather sorts itself out. There's no point uh, freezing your knackers off. It's no fun for anybody, that. <laughs> Hopefully there's not too much traffic through the, the town of Roxham. It really is. I know I keep saying it, but it's, a ple it's actually a pleasure to ride. And I have rode the Fours, the 750 actually. There is a, a video on the channel. Feel free to search, have a look and uh, watch that one. And I think it's the same engine as this one. I think it's actually a 745cc. It's a yeah, the parallel twin. I think it's a 270 degree crank as well. It's where you get that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just wanted to launch then. <laughs> oh, makes a lovely noise though. Lovely exhaust uh, roar. An intake raw. <laughs> TFT very crisp. The web counter there. Tells you actually, uh, you know, we're on sport, it tells you here the, the power mode, engine braking, uh, the drive mode, the traction control settings, and the ABS. So there really is a lot of information there. I mean, I'm not going to go too deep into that, but there's a lot of information on there. It's quite nicely actually coming through here without being queued in traffic, although it would be a good opportunity to see what she's like to filter. <laughs> Could do that all day. <laughs> There's a lot of travel on the suspension as well. Long travel suspension. <laughs> Adjustable as well for your compression and rebounds. What a lovely town this is here, Roxham. On, uh, dodge the potholes in the road. Very comfortable, as in suspension. As, you know, the seat is nice. Be lovely for your pillion passenger on the rear. Stealth my way through the town of Roxham, not to cause any hassle, not to draw any attention to myself. <laughs> Got the time on there, the outside temperature, same 12 degrees. I find that hard to believe. 
Mind you, I have got a different jacket on today. So the wind is really just blowing through the jacket. Where are you going? Oh, it's got some lovely pick up there. I'm going down there. I can actually, honestly, my, get yourself out to your D, the test ride one. So it's holding on to first gear there. Yeah, uh, in the second. Yeah. That's the thing with the sport mode, it does want to it does want to move. It wants to move. We'll demonstrate that again in a minute once we get through here. You can override though by hitting the the plus and the minus. So you could you could really leave this in sport mode all the while if you wanted to. Soaking up these bends here as well. Lots of performance there. I'm going to test the brakes. We're going to get to 60 mile an hour. There's 60 mile an hour on the front brake. Yes, and it knocked down a gear then. As soon as I, I started braking, we'll try the rear on its own. No issues there. Both of them together up to 60 again. Got a lot to do. Yeah, the brakes are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I don't want to go, I don't want to go too hard, but there's no, no uh, problems there. <laughs> Brilliant. This would make an ex excellent commuter bike as well. I think this is this would be good all round, you know. I think it'd be actually good on the twisties. Surprisingly, great fun to ride. I got. I, so I do like that feet forward riding as well. I mean, obviously you can have them back as back on the on the footboards or forward. I think they actually, I'm not 100%, don't quote me on them, but I'm pretty sure. Obviously for a little bit of off-road gravel riding, they do pegs as well, I'm not, I think. Well, I'm going to pull in just up here on the left. Give you a thorough walk around of the Honda XADV. Here we go, we'll go in here, hopefully out of the way. here. Beautiful. What I like about it as well is when you uh, well, we nip nip on here on the grass out of the way, hopefully not slide off. Nice and easy. Don't want to cause any uh, any uh, skid marks on the lovely grass. This is actually a car park, a no, bit of an overspill car park but Oop. <laughs> the traction control light was flicking away there, so we'll stick her in a neutral. A side stand down, hope she's not going to sink into the grass too much. And we'll give her a little rev, see what she sounds like. Actually very nice, very nice indeed. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that on the grass. I'm going to flick the side stand up in a drive. About the the, uh, the side stand, you know, sinking in to the uh, sinking into the grass. I don't want the bike going over, do we? Yeah, that'll do here. Oh, lovely. Neutral. Side stand down. And it's got a handbrake as well, so we pull the handbrake on, turn her off there. Brilliant, we've got this switch here as well, so you could turn it off there, so you, 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 all your dash goes off. Okay, gloves off, and we'll run through the specs. Well, okay, so here she is, the 2021 Honda X ADV. Uh, yeah, 745cc, six speed, and it's got the you know, the DCT, as I've said before, the dual cut clutch transmission. And uh, in my opinion, that's very, very smooth, silky smooth. The bike has a rare mix of capability, in my opinion, really. You know, is it an adventure motorcycle with off-road trail capabilities? You know, that's yet to be said. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to go off-road with it. It's not my bike. So uh, 
I won't be doing that, but yeah. It's got a new, ch new tubular steel, a diamond style, which is stronger and a lighter frame. Uh, yeah, and a redesigned seat. It says making ground reach easier, uh, but for me, uh, as you saw before, uh, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, tricky for me. Extra storage space under the seat there. You can open this up. Let's move, remove my glasses. And with this button there, open the seat. I've got my bag in there, 21 litres of space in there. No issues, no issues with that at all. So a USB Type-C charger under the seat as well. Uh, which is uh, handy for charging your devices. The fuel, the, the motorcycle is a 745cc fuel inject, injected liquid cooled four stroke eight valve parallel twin. And that's all tucked away under there, so you, you're not going to see any of that. Not that that's probably nothing too exciting anyway. You've got the, as you see there, dual clutch transmission, nice little badge on there. Uh, can be A2 license compliant as well, you know, by Honda should you require it which would be you know, a, a great feature there it's got five rider modes standard sports rain gravel and user and basically honda's reduced you know the weight of the bike by two kil kilograms giving it more power so the engine will be 43.1 kilowatts which is around about my mass about 60 brake horsepower at 6750 rpm and the torque, 69 newton meters of torque at 4,750 RPM. Well, that's the boring numbers out of the way. Anyway, dipstick in there, tucked away. Uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, it's got a revised intake, cam timing, and exhaust and throttle by wire control. So, yeah, all additional, uh, you know, changes there for, for 2021. Uh, suspension, I found it very, very nice, very smooth and soft on the suspension. Uh, you know, well, I say soft, you could probably take that the wrong, you know, but it's, it, it was, it, it's good though, I didn't find any issues with that. You've got 41mm long travel suspension there, um, cartridge style, upside down forks, adjustable for preload and rebound on the top there, as you can see in there. Very nice. So the rear is a single tube a split pressure whatever that means monoshock adjustable for spring preload i think it's probably down here tucked away in there uh yeah available uh, adjustable for spring preload this is the pro link swinging arm with 150 millimeters of travel wheels 17 inch front wheel and 15 inch rear wheel stainless steel rust resistant spokes uh, including which is very handy the l-shaped valves can't see it on that one, but it's got the L shape, the valve, so you can put sticky pressure in there, no issues. Uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, it's got those, you can see the spokes are laced on the side of the rim there. So you've got, a, you know, tubeless tyres in there as well. Front brakes are 296 millimetre dual discs uh, with the four pot Nissin calipers. One there and one on the other side. Round here. All the mud on the tyres there looks like I've been off-road. <laughs> Hopefully that'll flick off by the time I take the bike back. Uh, seat height, 820 millimetres, like I spoke about that earlier. Uh, it's also got the handbrake, which I've got on there, which I'll show you now around this side, operates on this caliper. An additional caliper down there. So, fuel tank, press this little button in there. That's your fuel filler cap in there. Uh, what size is that? 13.2 litre. Uh, so yeah, the fuel that the the actual MPG is saying, well, not MPG, is saying 3.6 litres per 100 uh, kilometres. It's so annoying when they do that. Uh, off the top of my head, I think that would work out to around ooh, 80 MPG or just under 80. Uh, the weight of the bike is 236 kilograms. That's the curb weight. So that'll be with the bike fueled. I'm pretty sure Honda do their wet, their wet weights or the curb weights with half a tank of fuel in the tank. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, it's got LED uh, daytime running lights, headlights and LED rear. We'll just turn them on. We'll turn this on. And there we go. Should spring into life. 
lovely display there. So we'll have a look at the lighting. And actually I'll turn that, oh, yeah, it's got the, the indicators are illuminated there as well. I quite like that. So you've got daytime running lights there. Um, LED rear lights as well on this. So, yeah, ignore the camera there. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it looks quite nice actually. Quite impressive. Flash is a five inch color TFT. Uh, you can choose from four types of designs. I'm not gonna run through them at the moment. Uh, but yeah, you could have a good play with that. Uh, security is the smart system. Keyless smart key operates, you know, the ignition, the fuel cap and the seat and an optional top box. Uh, you can have actually a 50 litre top box uh, on the bike. Uh, also, they do, do, believe it or not, travel pack, a travel pack which is panniers as well. Uh, it comes in four colours. So graphite black, pearl deep mud grey. Yeah, that's a funny, funny colour, I should think that one. Uh, matte beta silver metallic. And I take it this one is the Grand Prix red. And they're coming in, coming in according to the Honda website, £10,949. Which really, when you think about it, it's a lot of bike, I, I would say, for, for the money. You know, you've got a nice engine, you've got the dual clutch transmission. What have we got here? The old pegs for the pillion. Be nice and comfortable for the pillion on the rear there as well. What else can I show you? Centre stand there as well as chain driven. So if you wanted to adjust the chain, uh, no issues. You can put on the centre stand, lubricate the chain. Uh, what else can I show you? It's got as well the adjustable screen. So I think you pull this out. You pull. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it wasn't on the lower set in there, so yeah, it's a bit difficult to do one-handed, but. There you go. Yeah, so you pull that out, pull that out, and that will move up and down. I had no issues there with that at all. I mean, that was one hand that I've just done that, so wouldn't recommend doing it when you're riding, though. Although it'd probably be possible. Yeah, and I quite like all of this. You can actually lock the bike from this switch as well. Not going to do it now, but yeah, I've got the smart key in my pocket, so okay. Well, there you have it. The Honda X ADV. And like I say, it's like my mic, you either, either sort of love it or hate it, really, I think. But my first impressions, yeah, different, different. Okay, so let's jump on and ride some more. All right, okay, so handbrake off, side stand up, buttons on. Here we go. Drive mode, and away we go. Still in sport mode at the moment. Let's see if I can turn around here in this little oh I don't know. <laughs> the old back end's twitching there. <laughs> What's up? Oh, camera up. Yeah, yeah, we're there. Oh not bad. Little bit of trial breaking. Surprised myself there actually. Seem to move that camera a little bit. Yeah. It's not in the right position there. It's gonna knock on the on the what do you call it? There we go. That's better. Yeah, no worries there. Drive. Beautiful. Nothing coming. Well, that actually reverted back to standard riding mode there after I turn the bike back on so we'll leave it in we'll leave it in standard i'm gonna go uh, through the village of horning so yeah let me know you know could you see yourself out could you do, you know do you own one of these have you had any problems with one be interested to know let me know in the comments below or could you see yourself going out and test riding well maybe and I'll be perfectly honest, I'd recommend it. Can't really go too far wrong. I'll say, uh, you know, very good on fuel. Blowing a hooli here, actually. Take a left here, that's only a right here. And we'll go in the horn and... Actually handles very well. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Ferrari. Nice to see the sunshine as well. Just realised my helmet is not done up, so I'm going to pull in and do the old helmet up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we'll just knock the hazards on there. There off, indicator on. Put it in the neutral. There we go. Alright, okay. See the old helmet up. Gloves back on. And off we go. No problems. Come on, through you come. I'm having a driveway down there. No worries. Nice. What a pleasant day. Not so it is a bit breezy, but other than that, not a bad day to be coming out today to bring you in order to bring you this review. Slow down a bit. It's got 20, 20 mile an hour through here. Probably get off the bike and walk quicker. Sounds lovely when you open them up. <laughs> 